Welcome to Wager Talk TV. We're at $9 Monday. Every single Monday is our favorite thing. Wagertalk.com, sportsmodel.com, all daily pick packages for Monday's action, just nine bucks. And that includes any 5% best bets, normally priced at $40. I am Kelly Stewart, and the man to my right is one of my favorite hockey handicappers here at Wager Talk, Carmine Bianco at Carmine Bianco WT on Twitter. Make sure you're giving him a follow. Carmine, we're going to continue this 101 sports betting series as we get through the hockey season. Tell the people at home what a puck line is. All right. Well, uh, generally in a game, you've got a uh, money line, which is you know, obviously a home or away team to win. You've got your totals. A puck line brings in a, the sort of a, another thing in which uh, you've, the favorite is minus one and a half. And a most of the times, it's plus money. Sometimes, if you've got a very big favorite, the puck line will be minus one and a half. Let's say minus 120, uh, you, or you can take the dog at plus one and a half, and a lot of times get plus money in them as well too. The thing with puck lines is they've become a lot more popular nowadays, and I think it's just because the culture of the game has changed. Uh, now you have teams that are down a goal and they're pulling their goalie with two and a half minutes left in the game, which brings in that empty net goal, which makes you a puck line winner. It, it's, it, it's something that didn't exist in hockey in the 80s and 90s where, where coaches refused to pull their goalie until the last minute of the game. Uh, it, it happens a lot sooner now. So there's, you can make money. Uh, don't go and look at, uh, a rule of thumb is never take minus one and a half and lay juice. It's the dumbest thing you can do in sports. It's kind of like betting college teasers. Just don't do it. <laughs> okay. You don't do it, it's, it's a bad thing. Uh, and you, these are things where if you're a parlay player and you should never risk uh, any big part of your bankroll, but maybe like a half a unit, you can take two or three money lines and if they hit, or sorry, puck lines, and if they hit, you can get a pretty hefty payout. So it's things that people like and now with the culture of the game changing and things being higher scoring, puck lines and winning puck lines are coming into play now. Awesome. Thank you, Carmine. Again, $9 Monday, each and every Monday at Wagertalk and Sportsmemo.com. All daily packages for Monday's action, just nine bucks. And that includes any 5% best bets, normally priced at $40.